Hey guys! So, um, first of all, please excuse the horrible quality of this video. I have um, a new notebook and it has this little built-in camera thingy, which I wanted to try out. So, here I am trying it out. So, um, if it's bad, I'm not going to work with it anymore. If it's good, I will post more videos using this webcam thingy. Okay, so today I would like to talk to you about um, the right way of washing hair. I have talked about the importance of washing hair the right way before. So um, today I am going to explain to you what the right way is. So um, first of all, it's pretty important that you choose a shampoo that is right for you. So, um, first of all, an uh, important thing when you're picking out your shampoo is um, choosing one that is for your hair type, that's meant for your hair type. So, for example, if you have greasy hair, pick a shampoo that says for greasy hair. If you have dry hair, pick one that says for dry hair. If you have normal hair, you pick one that's for normal hair, etc, etc. So, um... That's very important. Choose the shampoo that's for your hair type because they make it specifically for that hair type. So if you have a different one, it might just make your problems worse. Then, um, it's pretty known in the long hair world, I guess you could call it, that you shouldn't use shampoo that contains um, cones and sulfides. Basically, what that means is um, that it shouldn't contain chemicals, um, which names end with cones or sulfides. So, if it's a blah blah cone or a blah blah sulfide, you shouldn't use it. Because these cones and sulfides, they coat your hair in a coat of um, fake shininess. Which might seem good, but actually it um, suffocates your hair. Because your hair cannot breathe anymore, it cannot take in oils that you put on it or any good stuff because the cones and sulfides are in the way. So you shouldn't use shampoo that has cones and sulfides in it. Um, this is my shampoo. I hope you can see it. It's mirrored. I'm sorry, I don't know why I, I'm going to change that setting. But anyway, it's lavender shampoo and it's 100% natural. Um, let me read to you what it contains. Um, where's the English one? Okay, it contains water, aloe vera, coconut and corn sugar soap, vegetable glycerin, lavender flower extract, citric acid, essential lavender oil, and nothing else. It says nothing else. That's pretty strange. But anyway, um, everything is 100% natural, and some of the things are from organic farming. So that is good. No cones, no sulfides. Sulfides, sorry. And um, it worked great. Actually, my hair loves it. Um, I do not like to advertise products, but... Um, I think any natural shampoo will do the job. I don't think it really matters what's inside it. I think it's more important what's not inside it. So, no cones, no sulfides. That's best. And then, you can still consider your hair type. Because this one is for um, normal hair, I guess it was. Yeah, for all hair types. Okay. So, the next thing is... Um, how often you wash it. This topic has been discussed a lot in my other video, Tips and Tricks on Growing Hair, um, where I kind of revealed that I wash my hair every other day, which is three or four times a week. If you say it like three times a week, it sounds like as if I don't wash my hair at all, but it's really every other day. And that is still too often. 
basically the longer your hair gets the less often you have to wash it because um, it hair doesn't really get dirty that fast your hair cannot get all dirty in one day unless you sweat a lot or roll through sand or anything I don't know but your hair shouldn't get dirty in one day so it's really not necessary to wash every day and if, if your hair gets very greasy um, that is probably because you wash it too often some people have really greasy hair naturally but most people don't and your hair when you start washing less your hair has to adapt to it so in the first couple of days it will be more greasy but after that you will see a result and your hair will um, won't get greasy as fast that is my experience I have tested it out myself I have reduced my washing of hair this summer um, to two times a week and it worked great because um, yeah, and the longer your hair is, the less you should wash it because washing is kind of damaging, especially if you do it wrong. I will explain that later on. No, I'm going to do that now, actually. <laughs> so, um, what you should do when you're washing is take as much shampoo as you need and um, kind of distribute it through your hands like this and then massage it into your scalp like that. Just get really get into your hair and massage it like that. Probably the worst thing you can do is pile all your hair on top of your head and then scrub like that. Because you are scrubbing your hair against each other and um, the hair breaks, splits, gets damaged and it's just a really bad thing. I mean, I guess you can guess that yourself. If you're doing this with your hair, it's going to get damaged. That's that's a fact and um, especially when it's wet because hair is more fragile when it's wet we all know that if you pull your hair out it kind of jumps back like boing and then it, it breaks real very easily so um, no scrubbing no scrubbing that, that's bad and so when you have all the shampoo in your hair all you have to do is just kind of squeeze it out and then take all the rest of your hair, not braided of course, that's just for illustrational purposes. You take all the rest of your hair and kind of squeeze the shampoo through it. Just squeeze, 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 squeeze through. And that should be enough for the lengths of your hair um, if they're not very dirty, if you don't have stuff in them or like oil or something. So um, on an everyday basis, that's all you have to do to actually wash your hair and then when you're washing it out rinsing rinsing the shampoo out all you have to do again is just make sure it's very it's well, well gone from here and then when you are going to dry your hair just again squeeze and then squeeze the water out of your hair and then you take your towel you kind of press it onto your head and then you Put your hair into the towel and you squeeze again. So we're not doing any rubbing at all. We, we do never want to rub our hair because that is really bad, really damaging. Not good. So no rubbing. So you press, 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 press. And then you can leave your hair in the towel. You can let it air dry. Um, I do not recommend blow drying because heat is damaging. But um, I guess it's okay on an occasional occasion. <laughs> It shouldn't be too bad, but try to avoid it. Okay, so then we're finished. Um, so, oh, I'm almost at 10 minutes. Okay, so I hope you find this helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me. And I will see you next time. Bye!